Oh my gosh, my I can't. I will tell you, my my. All of a sudden, my uh, tablet like went. It shut. It shut down. It not shut down like shut off, but it went to the black screen like, and I had to put my stuff in and get back out on the deal and it made the video stop. And then I had to reconnect on the shot and I was already in my shot clock. I set it up slightly to the left hand side of the cup and not, I set it up on the left hand side of the flagpole and I hit it to the left, one ring great to the left, which, and it, it ended up going in the hole. I'll play the replay here so you can see that. Oh my gosh, I just had a freaking heart attack. The screen went black. So I had to push the start button to get it to come back on and then swipe and then put in my pattern and then go to the deal and the video stopped and it was stopping the screen. And oh my gosh, I thought my heart was racing before that hole. Jesus. Hey, Seuss. Oh my. I think I might have to pause that and go go <laughs> go clean my pants. I just I am oh my gosh. Oh. I'm telling <laughs> I'm telling you I just damn near had a heart attack. <laughs> Let's go look at that shot. Oh my gosh. Jeez. just so you can see what I did here. So in this spot right here, is it even gonna show it? It's not even gonna show the shot. The replay is jacked up. And you know, I've, I never have this happen in anything other than Golf Clash. And you know what I think the deal is? Is I think that Golf Clash is, is cause every now and then, with the uh, grid on there. I've talked to other people that have used it, hit that grate and my heart stopped with what was going on. And then it went, that's right where I aimed. And so wind was a factor on that particular shot from that particular angle. I've talked to several people that are using Androids with the grid and their grid will pop off. And it's like uh, Playdemic's got some code in their stuff to try and keep overlays from happening anything that's playing at the same time. And here just recently, I've had that happen several times. And it's only when I play Golf Clash at where the screen will like it'll shut off. Oh, my gosh. I just had a heart attack. All right. Let's take deep breaths. I haven't had anything, anything spectacular happen on the front, but I've had a bunch of spectacular things happen on the front. Jeez. Woo. Oh my gosh. All right, hole number eight. I'm just, I am so happy I'm actually on hole number eight. Oh my God. I didn't drop a shot on that last one. All right, we're on the Casper hole. And I am taking a grizzly and a turkey ball. And I'm doing a 20% wind adjustment. Grizzly and the turkey ball. Put that wind down. It's the only two things I need. Let's go get a hole in one right here. 20% wind adjustment. Hole number one, hole number two, hole number four, hole number five, hole number six, hole number eight. I have picked up, like if you're supposed to get, if it's a hole in one, I picked up, or a par three, I picked up a hole in one. If it's a par four, I picked up an eagle. If it's a par five, I picked up the Albi. Um, hole number nine is the only hole I haven't got an Albi on. And hole number three and hole number seven, you're just trying to get the Eagles. I mean, let's be real. Dial it up to the cup. Go right at it. 20% wind adjustment. That's two, so that's going to be two four. It's 1.0 per ring. So I'm going to do a 2-4 adjustment. Try and hit it perfect. 
and I anticipated and hit it great to the right. Great to the right. We'll see how we go on the first nine. I still have nine. There's a great Albi shot on nine. The, it's nine is definitely a one shot at a time. You got to take one shot at a time. Put yourself in the fairway on the drive so that you have a great shot coming in at it so that you can take that Albi shot. Um, can't count your eggs and can't count your chickens until your eggs hatch. Just trying to shoot a nice consistent. My minimum goal going in is minus 13 per side. If you've been watching my videos all week, it's all all week long. It's been minus 13 is the minimum score. If you want any shot at winning, that sets you up for a minus 26. And then you need to build on that. I really want to come out of each side with a minus 14 as my personal minimum just to give myself a shot for win. Because I really think in this bracket, I'll have to shoot a minus 30. So a minus, I mean, I'm putting tons of pressure on what I'm going to have to do on the back. So I'm on track as far as the minimum score, but I'm not doing myself any myself any favors. I need to pick up a shot. And so I've I'm boiled it down to having to pick up the Albi on hole number nine. And it's the only hole that I haven't picked up an Albi on all week. And I've been super close, but I haven't picked up the Albi on it all week. So we will go see what's happening on hole number nine. It's definitely one shot at a time. I can't have any anticipation on hole number nine. It needs to be a perfect shot on the drive and a perfect shot going into the cup. Good luck in the tournament. All right. We're going to start moving up here in the next few holes. We're going to start moving up the ranks through these 14. So we're going to start to see some forward movement up the charts as we get into the uh, back nine. Uh, let's go take a look at hole number nine just to get it refreshed in my memory. I try not to remember these holes too much. I'm coming out into this area right here, three top spin. And I'm just trying to get, you can, I'm trying to get to somewhere in the, Somewhere in the 390 range. You, I've seen people hit as far as 416 down into this pocket, but I don't want to mess with this. If you draw a line across this, I want to be on this side of the line. That was gives me with my sniper a shot from right there going to the cup. And it gives me a shot with my sniper to the point where I can engage a little bit of backspin. And I would rather come into that cup with just a titch of backspin. Extra mile. I'm going to take my my apocalypse and a sniper. I have this bag set up just for this hole. And I'm bringing a power five ball. See that little magenta line right here on my curl line right below the play golf where I'm circling? That line, I put that line on my grid just for this hole. That's how much curl I'm going to put in. It's one of those deals where I don't have to remember so the thing about that curl line is if without it and, you know, never having been able to judge what half curl is. Normally when I set shots up, I'm, if you watch my videos for a long time, I'm always either no curl or max curl. Sometimes I will put on a little bit of curl just to bring shots back to the fairway where you're pushing up against the nubs or you're pushing up against the ring. But as far as shots that involve more than that in curl, I'm usually not uh, a big fan of that. I'm going to do three and just a sliver. Okay, 2.4 win. This is the lowest win we've had all week. Okay, I'm going to go to that point. And then I'm going to put on just a titch of overpower. Hit it great on the inside. I might be in trouble. Depends on that bounce right there. Oh, now I'm going to have to scramble on hole number 18 or hole number nine.
can't afford to hit that great to the right. Especially with this wind, we've had all week long, we've had winds that are in the four and five mile per hour. And so this is one of the deals about the wind manipulation. That's why if you're in those shots like this, where we're leaving the wind in and we're letting the wind help us, it's not pushing us as far out into the fairway. So we need to set this up on the back nine. I need to set this up a little bit more to the left because the wind's not, the wind's not helping us out. All right, it's 3.7, it's 2.0 per ring at max, so that's about a two ring pull. All right. Some curl to bring it back over to the fairway. Hit it uh, great to the left. And just trying to get up there as far as I can so that I can give myself as short a chip as possible. I've got some serious scrambling to do. That right there is absolutely a not a give me shot. And the, the reason there is, is because it's going to put me somewhere probably in half to three quarter wedge and half to three quarter wedge are when it gets to about when it's half or less wedge. So like when you're in half your, your distance to less than half and you're running the top spin out the four miles per hour for half the cup is right on the right on the mark when you're at max club you're doing the ring adjustments and it's 1.3 per ring but when you're in between those the wind adjustment is is tricky and i'm right at that spot let's see where i'm at in my club so there's max so i'm at about three quarter club and that's right at that spot i'm talking about Run that top spin up to get as close as I can up here. It's 2.8 miles per hour. We go right on the outside edge of the cup. Just need to hit it perfect. Did I hit it perfect? Perfect. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Woo! Recovered. Woo! Picked. Oh my gosh. The front nine has been an up and down roller coaster ride. I can't. <laughs> my goal was to shoot a minus 14. I got a minus 13. I picked up three. I picked up seven. But I will tell you that I have, I've, if I've had some luck happen, I've had some close calls that didn't go in, but I will tell you coming out of the front nine with a minus 13, while well, that's not what I'm looking for, and that's not the uh, the round that's going to set me up for a serious win. A, a minus 14, even though that's just one stroke, that means on the back I have to shoot a minus 15 to get back to 28, and I put a lot of pressure on the back nine, but to come out of the front nine with what if you've watched up to this point <laughs> to come out with a minus 13, I <laughs> absolutely. Yes. If you can't be good, be lucky. Woo. That was a scramble. Oh my gosh. Good luck. All right. That was the front nine of the 2020 winter major in the weekend round of the Ricky division. Okay. So I'm finally at that point where, from this point forward, we're looking at 14s and going up. I'm going to start digging myself out of the cellar. Um, and we're going to see what the people at the top have. So I came into this bracket with a minus 27. I think the person below me, I was really shocked. I was really shocked that, at, that coming into the round with the minus 27, I was the top qualifier in the bracket. And I believe that the person that was in second shot a minus 26. And then it went down from there. It was minus 27, minus 26. And I think it was minus 25. I'm not, everybody, the, the way it works is people will ramp up and start to peak in the weekend round. So you have to take the opening round scores with a grain of salt. And I've also seen it where people come in and they've shot a nine and a 19. And then there's a lot of, 
there's some clans where uh, people will qualify as many accounts as they can. And then their best player will go in and play the weekend round in those accounts and they'll pop off a 31. So you can't, you can't look at the scores coming in as what you need to do to shoot you, in this. I really need to be at minus 28 to minus 30 to win. And I needed to pick up one shot on the front. I'm looking at the minimum score as minus 13 shooting this exact round. And so I need to, uh, I'm going to have to step it up on the back if I want to have any shot at a win. All right. That was the uh, front nine of the 2020 winter major in the weekend round of the rookie division. Thanks for watching.